Hi, I'm Michael Bangay. Today I want to demonstrate what EME levels are present directly in front of antennas on a mobile tower and how EB levels reduce significantly as you come down to ground level. This tower is in Laverton North in Victoria. It's 35 metres tall and has 3G and 4G mobile services. As you can see, it's really windy up here. We're 35 metres above ground, five metres out in front of the antenna, and we're measuring levels approximately 20% of the general public limit. Okay, we're dropping down in levels now. We'll be down at 30 metres in just a moment. The level has dropped down to less than 1% and we've not yet hit the 30 metre point. And so you can see there's a rapid decline with EME levels as you get vertically below the, the antennas. And so here we are at 30 metres and I'm measuring a level of approximately 0.2% of the general public level, which is a significant reduction in just 5 metres vertically below the antenna. We're going to drop down now to 25 metres and do the EME levels at 25 metres. So here we are now at the 25 metre point and we're measuring 0.02% of the standard. We're now down to the 10 metre point and the level hasn't changed much at all. It's about 0.007% of the general public limit. We're now at 5 metres. The antenna is 30 metres above us and the levels are really quite low. 0.003% is what I'm reading at this particular point. OK, we're just about down to ground level. That gives you a bit of an idea about how levels fall off below base station antenna. A little further away, the EMU levels are still very low, approximately 0.1% of the general public limit. So in summary, as you can see from these live readings on a mobile tower, the EME levels are the highest up at the same height as the antennas. And as you move down, even just below the antennas, the EME levels really do drop away. All areas were well below the safety limits. I hope you found this live demonstration informative and useful. Thank you.